That's a vibe. That's a vibe. Hey guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. Ooh. We're going to talk about products that we've been using for the last couple of weeks, and then we're going to go over to the collection and shop the stash. So that sounds like something you'd like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm filming this before work, so I'm like in workout clothes, full face of makeup. You know how we do. I was like, maybe I should put on something else, but I'm like, this is what, like my life. Like, I'm about to go spend eight hours at the gym, so like, this is this is what you get. So, all right, we did a makeup organizational video last week where we put everything back in my collection that was kind of moved all around the room but we kept the products that we had been using uh and we pulled a couple couple of travel makeup items so i have used at this point pretty much everything so i can talk to you about it a little bit what's on my eyes currently oh i love it it's the beach cosmetics love in london palette so this is more of a cool tone palette and this center shade right here is what's on my lid and I just love this shade. It's just so pretty. And then I just mixed a few of the matte colors into my crease. This was really pretty. I only got to use it one time, but it was really pretty. I also, um, I haven't used this in the last couple weeks, but I have used it a couple times since I pulled it. The ABH Norvina collection. And it looks like this. I'm going to move it back into my collection, but it'll definitely get pulled again in the near future. Um, and then on my weekend's trip, it was so much fun, except the hotel we were staying in, the Congress, is in Chicago, is the most haunted hotel in Illinois. I had no idea it was haunted until we were about to leave, and one of my sister-in-law's boyfriends, I have three sister-in-laws, so one of them, her boyfriend, um, was like, you know that place is haunted, right? And we're like, no. So we Googled it and saw on Google the most haunted in Illinois. We're like, oh my gosh. We didn't experience anything. Um, but I would say I felt a vibe. <laughs> but the weekend was fun. We just relaxed and drank wine and talked the whole time. We didn't really go shopping or do anything else outside of that. But I did take this palette, the Maybelline Nudes of New York. I really love this. I love that you can get simple looks, like one shadow looks, or uh, you can just get like a full on glam with it. Such a really pretty palette. So I got some use out of that. That was everything for eyeshadows. For face, we had a few things. This is what I have on my face today. This came in a um, Fafit Fun. So it is a face palette. So I have this bronzer, this highlight, and this blush on. And I love it. This highlight is blinding. The blush is a little much, but um, I did blend it out as much as I can but i'll be wearing a mask all day at work so i think it will end up just being fine in a couple of hours because blush wears off pretty quickly especially with a mask but i love the blush and highlight especially i didn't really tap into these sorry i used this highlight right here i didn't really use this this or this i'm gonna put it back in my collection but i did enjoy using that today i absolutely broke this uh banana bright powder i think i might move that into my makeup basket express because i'm just not using it in here um all right i got so much use out of these pixie highlight duos over the last couple of weeks i use primarily delicate dew um pretty much most of the time i put it under my highlighter and i absolutely love it but i did get quite a bit of use out of the subtle sunrise so love these we'll put them back in my collection and i definitely need to pull them a little bit more often another bh cosmetics item i took the vanilla cream truffle blush palette these aren't available anymore um, but this was a nice travel, uh, item or palette. So I'll definitely use that again in the future when I travel because it's like so light and it's cardboard. The mirror is helpful and there's so many like options that would go with any eye look that you're doing. So I got some use out of that. I finally got to use this Flower Beauty. This is the classic highlighter palette that's been around for years. 
and I don't know that there is a name on it, but I really only dived into this color, but I loved it. I would say this highlight glow was just as blinding and pigmented as the pixie ones. This is so nice, and from the use I did get out of it, I do feel like it's worth all the hype that this palette has had over the last few years. Um, but we'll move that back into my collection. I don't think I got to use the e.l.f. bronzer. This one is in Sunkissed. So let's just go ahead and leave this out for the upcoming week. And I didn't get to use the Halo Glow um, powder. So we'll go ahead and leave this out as well over the last couple of Oh, look. for the next week hello words hey Kelly Schrack just posted a, a drugstore makeup video that was elf and wet and wild and oh my god there's so many good products but the thing is they're mostly like limited edition so I don't know it's hard to buy those products if you have a YouTube channel because then you're like hey here's this product you can't get Ooh, look at me you can't have it <laughs> it's so awkward um I love the L'Oreal true match powder mine is in uh, light ivory, but we'll put that back. We had have some uh, flower blushes, and I think the only one I used was uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Sweet pea. Yeah. So I used sweet pea over, I think just once over the last couple weeks. So we'll put that back, um, and then we'll leave out these other two to use. One is called Spicy Petal, which is more of a darker blush. So we'll leave that out. And then we had um, Peach Primrose. I haven't used that either, so we'll leave that out as well. So a couple of things we didn't get to, but we got through a lot of it. I used the All Nighter by Urban Decay. This is a primer. I really loved it. We'll put it back. I took this Milani one with me on my trip, and I love it. I like that it's like a glowy lotion type um, consistency, but we'll go ahead and put that back. Uh, oh, another blush. I did use the It Cosmetics Ombre blush quite a bit. This is Je ne sais quoi, so we'll put that back. And uh, let's see what else. We have a bunch of face powders, so we'll go ahead and just put all these back. And maybe we'll end up pulling them again, but I just want to put them in one spot and then decide what we want. So we have Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. That back. We have the Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. We have the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. We'll put that back. And then we also have CoverGirl Outlast Full Coverage. Um, and then we have my Tarte uh, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. We will put that back as well. So we're basically going to put a Puri O oh, and the Huda Glowish. We'll put that back too. So we're only going to leave out a few things. Uh, those two e.l.f. products and those two flower beauty product so those will stay um we'll put back the dior forever foundation and leave in the milani conceal and perfect and i have a few concealers out that i will uh, i'll just go ahead and leave them out we have milani l'oreal and elf hydrating we'll just leave these out Options never hurt nobody. You know, it's good to just good to have a few things here and there. I, I did end up using the Cinema Secrets uh, blush, no, makeup brush cleaner. I love it for smaller brushes, like highlighting brushes or eyeshadow brushes. And it did come with this little tin. I got it off Sephora. It was $26 for both. I don't love them. Love it for like thicker brushes because I feel like it just absorbs so much product and that stuff's pretty expensive so my plan is to wash my bigger ones and then use that for like just little brushes you know so uh it did cut my cleaning stuff in half but i do need to get to these face ones to wash so that was helpful and if i had a couple face brushes to wash i would use that but when you got like a bunch i think that would be kind of wasteful that's just how i feel about it 
Um, and then I used the Fenty Beauty Mascara for the first time, and I love it. I love these type of wands that are not scary. They're almost more like brushes than like that plastic stuff that stabs you in the eye. And I like that it kind of fans out my lashes. So this was really nice, and this is going to be the mascara I use for the next few months. But yeah, okay, we just like ran through a bunch of makeup as a recap. So let me put it back and then we'll shop my stash. Okay, if you watch my makeup organizational video, you will be familiar with this setup. We went through it together. I am gonna go ahead and get another one of these uh, clear containers that I'll show you here in a second. Uh, I believe it was Bridget in the comments suggested switching the two containers so my blushes are together. And then I saw Juicy Jazz um, organizing and decluttering her makeup and I have an idea for my lipsticks so there'll be another I mean an organizational video coming probably in like two or three weeks so I love your suggestions and the videos are ongoing like I feel like you guys could probably relate but organizing makeup is a full-time job there's always something we could do with it um so I do want to um pick a blush first and I think I'm just gonna pick one blush I had a comment in that organizational video that asked if I had already used all of the makeup that was sent to me in that mystery makeup box no I mentioned it a little bit in that video but I I was inspired to use it when it was separate from my makeup for a couple lot, uh, a couple weeks, but then it kind of got to a point where I just w was forgetting it was there. So that's why I went ahead and moved it in my collection. And I can pretty much remember which products I have and haven't used. So, um, you know, we can still use it and that kind of thing. So the first thing I want to pull is this LA Girls. This is a strobe light strobing powder. This one is in 110 watt. I have owned one of these before it might have been this color I don't honestly remember but this is one of those blinding type products that I love to have so we are going to pull this highlighter for the week and I would like to pull one additional one uh Nomad is this little sample guy and this color is Kiss of Sunlight I haven't heard of this brand again it looks beautiful Let's swatch it. Oh, it's soft. Oh, very similar tone. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so similar, almost like the same, right? Maybe like slightly. Maybe this one's like a little bit more pinky than this one's a little bit more gold. These are two products that are from that mystery box, but we'll pull these to use for highlighters for the week. Okay, we still left two blushes and a bronzer over in the collection or in the basket. So we will skip this, skip this, and then if we scoot over here, these are face palettes. We'll also skip these. So let's move down to the second shelf. Okay, this was the container. I was saying I'm going to go ahead and order another one off Amazon. All of these organizers are off Amazon, and they're always linked down below. I'm going to order another one to put here, and then we'll have a row of these. But as far as eyeshadows go, I want to pull one palette. And I don't really have anything in mind, but I do see this Ofra one looking at me. And this is one from that mystery makeup box. There is a haul on my channel of that mystery makeup box if you're curious. Ooh, come on, come on, there we go. I don't know that these are gonna be like everyday colors and there are some face colors. Um. Yeah, let's pull it. There's some face, pal uh, like a bronzer blush. These are highlights, and then these are eyeshadows. So I think I can get, this can make some of these look a little neutral. So let's pull this. And do I want to pull like something else just to give me more options? Here's the other part of the shelf, but let's pull in 
this classic. This is the Too Faced Salted Caramel, one of their mini tin palettes. This is from not last holiday, but the holiday before. And I think this will help neutralize this Ofra palette. Um, let's get them side by side. So I'll be able to, yeah, they're kind of similar tones. Um, I think these will pair well together and help me create more of a neutral look. And then we'll also have more face products to play with. That's gonna be all we pull from this eyeshadow shelf here. So let's go down to the bottom. We need a, a face powder because we put everything away. Let's pull a couple. So let's pull, let's pull the number seven. This is the number seven Lift and Eliminate Triple Action Finishing Powder and Light. We'll pull this for under the eyes. Oh my gosh, I was just watching Taylor Wynn's Target video. I didn't get to finish it all, but Sigma Beauty is at Target. Like, oh, I might go buy something. Cause you know, shipping, shipping's a real cost that we're trying to avoid. But if I can just stroll on in to my Sephora, then maybe we can check the scene. So uh, I'm excited about that. Um, let's pull this loose powder as well. This is also number seven. And this is triple light translucent loose powder. So I actually haven't pulled these to use together and I've owned them both for so long. So I'm actually a little bit excited to have these two options for the upcoming week. So that's cool, look at us. And I wonder if I can get the rest of these powders to fit in here now. Oh yeah, that's a vibe, that's a vibe. We're gonna skip these blushes, but if we come over a little bit, I do not need a setting spray because I have three sitting out, two Milani and a Urban Decay, uh, but I do want to pull a primer. So we just pulled these two last week, so we don't need those. These are mascaras here in the center. We don't need those. Um, and then we have a couple of foundation. So I guess it's these three. I haven't tried this. This is the uh, Jekka Black Hydrating Primer. This was in that mystery box. So let's pull that. And because I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like that or how that's gonna work, let's pull one that I do enjoy. Uh, which is the NYX uh, Marshmallow Primer. I like this one. I don't personally feel like this one was worth the hype it got. I mean, it's kind of a fun name and a fun concept. Uh, but quality-wise, it's like, it's good. It's not like amazing. It's not going to disappoint you. But it's not like hype material, you know, in my opinion. But we'll pull this as a backup for primer this week. Okay, so we have face palettes on top just because I ran out of room for them. And over here are project pan items, which are primarily foundations. So I don't feel like we need to pull a foundation or a concealer. Um, let's skip lip products just for this week. Maybe that's something next week we can really sort out. Here are some liquid products. So let's pull one of these. We have, um, Kaleido Cosmetics. This is Astro Light Highlighter. Doesn't this look so pretty? This is in the color Flare. This is an independent beauty line. And I've never tried anything, but I always see, like, their cute packaging online but let's see what this color looks like. We already know that's my color. That, she's it. So we'll pull this as well. Okay, I think we're in a good spot with makeup. We have primer that we pulled. We have our foundations, concealers, setting powders. Then we have our blush, bronzer, highlights, couple eyeshadow options. And then I'll show you all the little bits and pieces that we haven't talked about. Okay, so here is everything that sits on top of my vanity, and then we have some things in the drawers. So the products that we left in here, along with the products we pulled. I'm gonna move this to my weekly Makeup Basket Express to see if I can get some more use out of it in there. Sometimes when products sit in here too long, it's like I just stop seeing them. 
Over here we have a lot of lipstick options so that's why I didn't pull any additional lipsticks. We also have quite a bit of setting sprays and then in the back we have brow pencils, eyeliners, I showed you my mascara. So I do have those things even though we didn't pull them from my stash. So that's going to be everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're all doing well. P please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.